What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We just sold out 2023 Topps Finest Baseball. This is an eight-box case break. Picker Teams number seven. And again, guys, fresh, brand new release from yesterday. Here's the customer names: Alan Murdoch, uh, White Sox, Last Ball Mojo, and everybody else in. Thank you guys for buying in. Now let's open up the case of finest. And I heard Bryce Harper got hit right on his, uh, Surgically repaired elbow. Was that yesterday or today? I don't know if there's any update yet. But uh, he, I think he got taken out of the game. <laughs> For real, right? I think I heard he signed an extension, five years. How old is he right now? I mean, he looks like he's definitely like 75 already. But I figure he has to be in his late 60s, maybe? I thought at one point he was gonna. Well, that's the one thing, right? At one point, he was going to retire, wasn't he? But I think his wife either got sick or passed away and then just decided to continue to coach, right? He's 74? Oh, my God. I didn't realize he was that old. I thought he was, like, in his late 60s. I mean, I guess the man loves basketball, right? I mean, think about it. If he signed a five-year extension, he's probably like, all right, guys. I can do this for five more years. I'm going to develop Victor Webb and Yama and this team to be a freaking dynasty. <laughs> and then I'll retire. That's wild. 74. That's, that is crazy. Who, who, who's, who's been the oldest coach to coach, like, at the age? What, what, is, what is the oldest coach ever to coach? It's got to be him now, right? I mean, I guess John Wooden in college coached for a very long time, didn't he? You know, to think about it, isn't like Pete Carroll in his 70s now too? I don't know if it's NBA coach, but yeah, college. I want to say John Wooden coached for a very long time to UCLA before he stepped down. Yeah, that makes sense. I think in football, Pete Carroll is one of the oldest now, too. Bill Belichick is getting up there, too, but he doesn't look as old. Yes, Jimbo, that was Syracuse coach, right? He was 77. Yeah, so right now, Pete Carroll, I think, is 71, going on 72. Bill Belichick is at 70 already. Like, But like I said, he doesn't look like he's 70 years old, though. Andy Reid is 64, Ron Rivera 61, Jim Harbaugh 60. So there's not that, that many coaches, actually.
All right, so I'll rip the first four boxes, guys, and then we'll go with the next four. Joe Paterno, how does he? He was actually really old too. A lot of scandal though towards the end of his career though. With that other coach on his uh, coaching staff. Didn't he like pass away if I remember correctly? Didn't he like pass away when all that stuff came out? Yeah, I was gonna say, dude, that's horrible, dude. That was a that was a crazy scandal, actually. That was wild. I remember around that time. All right, here we go, guys. Wow, ninety five. <laughs> that's wild. Because <laughs> of years after you graduated, too. Cal Mitchell. We have a gold there. Shintaro. Fujinami. Uh, are the numbers in the front? Yeah, at the top. There you go, 50. And a Joy Votto for the Red Hot Reds. What is that, eight straight today? Cincinnati, going to Dennis. Headliners. We got Vinny to 150 for the uh, KC Royals. Is that Sergio Royal? No, it's not Woods Richardson. And then we got a Starling Marte to 50 gold. Gold! 31 out of 50. That's for the uh, Mets. Uh, Mets is Russell. Mookie. Out of 250. O'Neill Cruz there out of 100. All right, next box. Ooh, two back to back. Oscar Gonzalez to ninety nine for the Guardians, and then uh, Nolan Arenado to three hundred for the Cardinals. That is Cardinals. Guardians is guy.
Victor and Walker. And Keith Hernandez. New York Mets moments. Not numbered. Another one there for the Mets. Julio Rodriguez. Judge. Looks like a cool insert right there. Headliners. Is that the Kintsukore? Do they still have those here? That looks like a Kintsukore. Those are one of the case hits. And a Noma. No Marcus here, Parra. Boston Red Sox edition going to add. With a Rafael Devers. More for the Red Sox, the 250. <coughs> Thank you. Waldo Peraza uh, at a 125 for the Yankees. Anthony Volpe. Byron Buxton to 199. Woo! How about an Anthony Volpe to 25? 15 out of 25. I remember when he was a Bowman's first in 2020. Everybody was chasing Jason Dominguez. And I remember on release day, I pulled a red refractor out of five of OP. Um, to one of our customers. I believe Bruce got it. I don't know if he ended up selling it, but I know recently before the season, a OP red ended up selling for like $100,000. Not the one I pulled, but a similar red. So, his stuff does sell pretty well. Freddie Feeman. Jordan Walker color out of 300. Nice terrain. Tatis to 175. Nice little Edgar Martinez. Beautiful signature there. Seattle Mariners is going to add two as well. So Yankees Russell with that nice, nice Volpe. Vinny to 200. Jose Altuve to 175. Shane Biebs to 99. And a nice Jose Ramirez. Nice one there for the Guardians. Guardians is guy. With the Jose Ramirez to 250 purple. And then Senga. Blue for the Mets. Mets having a pretty good break, actually. So, you know what? I was wondering. I pulled up the checklist. There was like. I'll check the back of some of these cards actually because there's like extended base that says one in every 44 packs which should be a couple per case so and they're anything over 100 actually 
so there could be some extended base there actually. So I can quickly find one. Just so I can see an example of what it actually looks like. If we have one. Oh, here's one. So I did get an extended base. So card number 116, Francisco Lindor. That's an extended base. So if anybody's wondering. So basically what you can do just in case, too, in case people forget, check your serial number cards. Anything over 101, which is Alec Thomas, down to 125, George Springer. We definitely have one at least. Let me check this other stack since we're pretty rolling through this anyways. And those extended base can also be colors too, so that's kind of the cool thing. So basically what's gonna look like it's just gonna be a refractor. So if anything, you should always just double check refractors if you guys are pulling boxes or ripping boxes. Because it's basically gonna be a refractor. I think that was it. Cool, cool. Awesome. So we got one at least. Just wanted to double check. Not miss anything. All right, let's go to the next four boxes. And this finest looks very sharp, guys. Very sharp. Would love to do some more of this. So, of course, if you guys want to start kind of purchasing some of your teams, looks like we're down to 15 in the next one. So, I think we were like at what, 18? So, a couple people bought their spots. Here we go, let's continue on.
All right, here we go. Next four. Freeman. Otani headliners. You got Matutaka Yoshida. That's a blue. And then we got a Steve Garvey for the Dodgers. Phil with that one. There you go, Phil. On the board, man. You got a Ezekiel Tovar color match purple to 250. You got Vargas. And a Rafael Devers. Tops World's finest. And that doesn't look numbered, but. Oh, it is right there. Out of 99. That one, of course, is Dominican Republic, but of course, Devers, that's a Boston Red Sox, so nice break for Ed and the Red Sox. Oh, tiny. It's a 250. And Marcus Simeon for the Texas Rangers. Texas Rangers, that's going to Russell. Corbin Carroll. Here we go. And out of 50, Juan Soto. Dominican Republic. Of course, that's going to the uh, Padres in Franklin. Vladdy Jr. with a David Wright. Nice break there for the Mets. Laddie's to 150 for the Blue Jays. Franklin, Mets, Russell. Sosa for the White Sox. Lost by Muldrow for Allen. Lennon Sosa to 250. Whoa. 
option. And I think this is a sharp print too. This India is 106, so that's gonna go to the Reds. That's covered up with this guy's base card right there. That's another one of those uh, extended base. Cal Rally to 100. All right, then we'll use that Shade Langleyers as a little blank. There we go. Finest moments, autographs of Joe Mauer and the Minnesota Twins. Nice. That was one of the last few teams taken. Michael, how about that, buddy? Nice. Laborator. And then we got Yoshida Blue. Two nice rookies in this case. Nice one there for the Red Sox. Red Sox having a good break ahead. Nice. So we got a Volpe to 25 and a Yoshida Blue. Oswaldo Cabrera. Javi Baez. Toglea. For the Rockies to 250. Logan Hope. And Pete Alonzo. What a break for the Mets. How many autographs do the Mets have? Russell. Good lord. KT Ramuto for the Phillies. Rutschman. Alright, and the last one here, guys. Here we go. Nice little trout there to 250 for the Angels. Will Christian. Purple. We got Wade Boggs. For the Red Sox. Red Sox and Mets killed this break. Ken Waldachuk. Out of 75 for the Oakland A's. Ed. Playing Kershaw as an extended base. And actually, you know what? I totally forgot. I think the extended base have the three right in front of it design. So we've got something else to keep out for. I was just noticing that right now. Yoshida and a James Outman to 99 for the Dodgers. Adley Rutschman in 99 for the Orioles. Tristan without green. This has been a solid box, actually. Solid case in general. At least for my first case. Brandon Crawford. There you go. folks well we'll do a little hit recap right now for you guys but again a lot of numbered cards of course everything does shift so have all these color cards and then we got some autos so I'll top load all these right now so Wade Boggs, Pete Alonzo, David Wright, Marcus Simeon, Rafael Devers, Steve Garvey, Yoshida Color, Senga, Ramirez, Edgar Martinez, Garcia Parra, Yelich was the kid, so Corey Case hit, Keith Hernandez, Starling Marte, Joey Votto, obviously James Altman, Rutschman, Yoshida, Twins, uh, Maurer, Extended Base, Extended Base, Volpe, and Extended Base there too as well. So there you go, folks. Very, very solid. Mets still had a monster break though. Look at that, like five autos. 
So appreciate it, folks. The next case is in the store. Number eight, jazbeescasebreaks.com.